Hi, I'm Michael, the CEO of Arludo, and this is what excites me about what we're doing. This is the game Blue Steel, and these are what the data would look like if your class played them. So let's go through them really quick. So here we've got all the different groups that played Blue Steel. Here are the number of matings each of those groups got. And as you can see, Circus Group had five matings before anyone else, so they won our game. Then next here, what you can see is the average amount of time it took each group to successfully mate with that augmented reality female that they had. This is the individual matings that they had. And what you can see is early on, it took them a little while to figure out what that female likes. For the second female, it took them a little bit longer because maybe that preference was very different. And then they learned how to get better at hypothesis testing and what those females like. So students were becoming scientists as they progressed throughout the game. And here's our last figure, which is the average number of mistakes that students made with each female and the number of mating, uh, in the mating order as well. And what we can see is students made about four mistakes early on. They made almost six mistakes with that second female. And then they got a little bit better. And then they got a little bit worse again. And then a little bit better. So now this is your opportunity to ask students why they think this kind of variation exists. Maybe early on, it was a female that had a very simple preference. Later, it was a more difficult and simpler again. So this way, students can have their own hypothesis about what's going on in the system that they were playing in. And this is what's the best part about being a scientist. And I hope your students enjoyed it as well.